Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I got such an overwhelmingly positive uh, response from you guys when I posted the McCall's Summer Collection First Impression video a couple of weeks ago. Um, many of you asked that I continue to do it for the other big four brands as well as some independent companies that release full collections. So... I'm um, going to do that, obviously. Here I am today with the Simplicity Creative Group. Um, it looks like they released um, some new patterns a couple of weeks ago, maybe the same time as the McCall's patterns. So I don't know, now that they're all owned by the same company, if their schedules will start to um, coincide a little bit more. But um, a little bit of a delay, only because I didn't really realize that they had come out with some new patterns. But either way... Um, we are going to be looking at their new patterns. So just like uh, my first impression of McCall's, we're going to skip over vintage and skip over cosplay. And I get that this doesn't have to be cosplay because it's just kind of like workout clothes, but we're going to skip over that because there's plenty of other great stuff to look at. All right. First things first, we've got a cute little romper here with a very sexy back, if I do say so myself. Um, Let's see if we can get, there's some line drawings there. So it's a dress or a jumper with spaghetti straps. And then I think we have some back options. That tie up back is cute for some people. Is that the only back option though? Oh no, there's a fully, there's a full back um, and with like a little tie. It's hard to really tell. And then this is a different version too. But I do like that seam detail on this back panel. Interesting. Um, yeah, certainly I don't know that I'd be making the tie back. Um, but it does look like it would be a really cute fit and flare option. And I can imagine probably a pretty simple pattern for a beginner. Um, yeah, cute. Let's see. Am I going to have to keep going back and forth? I guess so. Um, okay, now we have a Cynthia Rowley pattern. Honestly, I have sewn so many Cynthia Rowley patterns. Um, I really do love them. But um, a calls, I believe, no, it couldn't have been. They must have had one like this last year. Remember in the catalogs, it was like a chambray or like a baby blue color. Also very tent-like, very big and billowy. Um, and I didn't care for that one. Um, similar to this one. I just am not sure that this is a very flattering look. Um, where did her other arm go? Is that just some really bad oh, photo editing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Certainly she has two arms, right? I mean, I'm not trying to pick on people who... You guys. I think they photoshopped her arm out. Or maybe she only has one arm. I don't know. Either way, uh, back to the dress. Um, yeah, I'm just not a huge fan of all of this billowiness. If you are seven feet tall and super skinny like she is, I think that would be really cute on you. Um, but for most people, I don't know that that would be very flattering. It does remind me of the Maya Sotis dress that was the um, uh, that's part of the new, is it Deer and Doe collection? Um and I did sew that one, and I feel like when I'm wearing it that it may not be the most flattering, but it's so darn comfortable that I almost don't care. <laughs> um, I also think the tops, yeah, they're just a little bit much. If you're super, super skinny, though, more power to you. Um, they could also start to look a little bit pajama-like. Let's see what else we've got. Um, okay, here's something kind of sweet for summer. Um, it is a wrap dress um, with ruffles. So this is very reminiscent of the dress that I made for Style Maker Fabrics Spring Blog Tour. I'll link that here if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Um, with this huge, huge flounce, the one that I made, the McCall, I think it's a McCall's or a Butterick, one of the, one of the other 
um, brands, but it also had a ruffle along this line here. I do like the longer sleeves with the elasticated cuff. That's cute. And this option could be really cute too with the off the shoulder look. Let's get some better pictures. Um, that's just the basic wrap with no ruffle. Is that all we're going to get? I, you know, honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of Simplicity's website. I guess we'll just zoom in. See, there's a cute little off the shoulder ruffle option. Um, high low hem, which is also cute. Um, yeah, I think this one could be really sweet for fall in one of those fabrics that has like a darker background, like a navy background chalet or crepe or something like that. That could be a really nice option for fall. And I do like how it's hitting her. Um, it is higher up on the chest than some patterns. So that's really nice too. Yeah, this one could be cute. Let's see. Next, we have, oh, here we go with the asymmetrical again. Let's zoom so we can see better. So, this is an asymmetrical neckline, which I'm not a fan of, but honestly, like if you just cut this side of her off, this side is super cute. I do love the elbow length with the cutout. I think that's adorable, and it couldn't be that hard to make the same thing over here, right? Um, we've got one that has like shoulder straps and a flounce, which if you are full busted, this is not going to work for you. But if you have a small chest, then it will, you know, accentuate that area and maybe make you look fuller. Um, then we have a shorter version of that. This one's kind of cute if you did it in a brocade or something. Um, it's not totally asymmetrical. I think the part I don't like about it is just how naked you are here, but I also don't like how this tends to fall down too. So this wouldn't really solve that, but I, it does it does solve one of the reasons why I don't like it. In general though, lots of options. Is that a waist seam? Let's see. No, it's not a waist seam. Actually, there's only a center back seam. There's not even any darts or anything but it does have pockets. This one does anyways. Isn't that what that means? Pockets. Um, yeah, lots of options. The shorter length has a shorter ruffle. That's a really good detail um, that they thought to consider proportion with the shorter length. I don't know. I kind of like this one, but I would, instead of cutting this, wow, it's all one piece. I guess you'd have to cut it on the fold instead, which might even be better. Certainly would save some fabric probably. All right, next up is a Mimi G pattern. Um, where, where are we? Okay. Oh, sexy with the little ruching and the cutout and the slit, my goodness. Let's see, here's the line drawings. Sexy. Actually, that ruching is very flattering for folks. Um, I don't want to scroll through. Scroll down. Um, whose trouble area is their tummy? Like all these little like lines or whatever create like depth and shadows and kind of hide your tummy. And also you can see we've got some fisheye darts. Um, also great for shaping. So all the shaping doesn't happen here on the side seam. Um, it also takes into consideration some shaping in the back here, which is a really nice detail. Cute. I do like that little, it's a modest little cutout. Um, and being, see how that creates all those shadows and depth and everything along the um, center front there. So it would hide some um, lumps and bumps if that's, your, if that's your trouble area. It's a very nice, very sexy, very like summer in Miami kind of vibe I'm getting, um, or like an evening in Hawaii or something. I don't know, daydreaming, but um, cute. Okay, I think I figured out a faster way to do this. I'm going to open them in new tabs. Is that faster? Not really. Okay, we have a simplicity. Dress or tunic? 
Wow, look at this, you guys. Um, Very little shape. This isn't, this is cute. This is cute. I don't, again, with the billowiness though, I'm not sure that, I'm not sure how flattering that would be on me, but it's not as bad as I would have originally thought, I guess. I do appreciate this, all of these seam details. These, I don't know about that on the hip. Um, and again, just a center back seam. Yeah, I guess, you know, in linen, um, something easy breezy. And if you have the right accessories, it could be really cute. Um, you know, especially on those really hot and humid days, I could see that being really comfortable. This is just, I don't even know what is up with the styling there. Why would you wear the dress over pants? Like, no, I'm not feeling that. <laughs> I'm not feeling that at all. But this length is adorable, I think. It's kind of like, you know, modern woman meets comfort, I guess, would be my take on that one. All right, we've got a modified little jumper dress here. Um, let's see close up. Oops. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of like an apron style. Can we not see? Oh. Here are the line drawings. Wow, look at those pockets. All right, so this is fairly simple design concept. Um, let's get through some of these other pictures to see it all styled. Yeah, it's really just kind of reminding me a little bit of just like an apron without the ties. This... I don't know. Do I like that? I can't tell if I like like the full back suspenders with this, all this gathering because of this little bubble that just, especially for me because I'm pear shaped, like that would just, I feel like accentuate it. That one's really cute though. Why is that one different than the other ones? I guess just the length is different. The fabric, I guess, made a huge difference. That one looks clean and polished to me and a lot less like an apron, but the back would still have those little issues. But cute design though. I could see this on a lot of people and looking cute. All right. We are right here with some tops with sleeve variations. So let's check them out. We've got a flutter sleeve. Look at the length of this. It is definitely short, which I've come to realize, I think a lot of simplicity patterns have these shorter hems. Um, this one, I can't really tell, but I think that's a buckle. This one has a little lace inset, and then this one has this little funky pleat with a tie thing. Here they all are, line drawings. What do y'all think of these? Interesting, right? I mean, the sleeve trend is still going strong. So I guess, you know, just trying to find as many variations of sleeves as you possibly can, um, this pattern would pretty much do it. All right. But I would definitely have to lengthen that one for sure. Where are we? We're right here. Okay. This is a knit top. That's kind of cool. Something different. Um, and then we've got the cutouts again. We've got an overlay with long sleeves. This little detail will be sweet for all of you pregnant mamas out there. I guess that's got to create lots of room. Um, I would like these, I think, if they were a little bit shorter. Um, I don't love, like, a tunic. Like, if this were more like this, do, 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 like that, <laughs> um, I think that I would like it better. Let's look at the line drawings. I bet you they're super comfortable. Nothing that special with the backs. 
although B does have an overlay on the front and the back. I bet that has like gajillions of fabric. Oh no. There oh, so it's almost two yards. One yard of the main fabric and then contrast fabric for the overlay. So that could be cute if you did like a black, you know, just jersey knit or any color jersey knit and then kind of like a chiffon overlay or like a stretch, a stretchy, lightweight something or another over top. That could be cute. Um Next up, oh, look at this one. Okay. <laughs> well, it's a crop top. Well, one version is a crop top. But you know what could be cool? This would be super simple to just add a skirt. Um, you just, instead of finishing this bottom seam line, you just attach a skirt to it and then you have a dress. I like that. Um, so we have this option with the pickups in the sleeves and then the little elasticated ruffle cuff thing. We've got this version that just has the elasticated cuff. This version just has the dolman sleeve. And this version has a sweet little ruffle. I do like this one. Um, but I would want to triple check the lengths of all of these. And it is a little bit lower. You can see it's hitting, I mean, she doesn't have a very large chest, so it doesn't look like there's a ton of cleavage. But if you have any <laughs> type of chest, you're going to be showing some cleavage in this one. So you maybe want to take it up a little bit to make it more modest. But again, with the sleeve details, it does look like it's a true wrap. Um, hard to tell from all these drawings. Let's see if this one shows it any better. No, it doesn't. Um, but yeah, this one's cute. This one's cute. And in the right, this is just too, the, too much for me. I'm not that stylish. <laughs> but this one I could definitely see myself doing. Yeah. All right. What do we have now? Here's some more vintage. Here's a learn to sew where you learn to sew a double stitched hem, an elastic casing, and apply bias tape. Wow. I just don't, I mean, I feel like this has been done, right? I already have like 14 patterns that look like this one. And again, I'm just not a fan of asymmetrical but I already have these. This is like nothing new to me. But I guess if you were new to sewing and you wanted to take it easy, this would be the way to go. And look at that. All the sizes all in one. That is something nice. I feel like simplicity does that the others don't. They really do get a lot of sizes in one pattern. Okay. Now we've got a, just a top, it says. Um... We've got an asymmetrical, but it goes into a sleeve. That's quite interesting. I'm not feeling this fabric, or am I feeling the like width of the sleeves or the boxiness of the top? But this is a nice alternative. I do like the shaping there, and I like how you're getting a cold shoulder without it being like, I don't know. Do I like that? I can't tell. I can't tell. Let's look at some other versions. Let's look at, oh wait, here are the line drawings. Oh, look, there's applique. That one's cute. But again, that kind of feels pretty basic. Um, they used a embroidered um, border, not a border print, but it is a border embroidery. I guess that's how you say that. Yeah, that one's really sweet. I do like it with the um, contrast, you know, ruffles. She looks very happy. Again, with the length, though, the length on this one, she's not really ever standing up straight, but it's short. I mean, that is like her waistband is like right here. And then here's this. That looks better than the other one. 
I think it's just the fabric I'm not loving. Hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of like, it's like love-hate. I can't tell if I love it or I hate it. I'm in between. Next up, we've got a duster. You don't see those very often anymore. Um, it looks like it just has an ampere waist. It has um, covered buttons and loops all the way down. So that would be an interesting uh, sewing task. Um, they are showing it as a bathing suit cover up, which is a great styling option. And also as just like, you know, a lace cover up for an outfit. I don't know. I guess this is kind of like what the Kardashians are wearing these days. I don't know though, if that really fits into my wardrobe all that much. This one looked cute in the styled pictures, but it could go like 1600s nightgown really quickly. Hmm. I don't know. That's kind of cute, like as a cover-up to shorts and a tank top. I could see myself wearing that. But when it's like not being thrown open, it is a little boring. But yeah, I guess as you're walking and the wind catches it, that could be cute. Definitely a cute bathing suit cover-up. All right, now we have an easy to sew knit bottom. All right, now we're talking. <laughs> okay, so we've got some basic knit skirts with a waistband um, paneled. We've got this scoop hem, this asymmetrical hem. Then is that, oh yeah, that's view A or B. It must be B because the fabrics are the same. So that's what it looks like. Sure does look comfortable. Um, and then we've got these killer pants with this ruffle down the side. Um, those are actually kind of cute. Call me crazy, but I kind of like them. And then these have the slit up to the knee, which I have seen several people, like celebrities or whatever, wearing pants like that. They still look very tailored, um, but kind of like with a twist. Like I kind of appreciate that kind of style. We've even got some little shorts here. Um, let's check out the rest of these photos. Lots of the pants, I think. Cute. Oh, there you can see the asymmetrical a lot better. I don't know. Does that just look like you went crazy with your scissors and messed up? <laughs> I don't know. Look at her. Fun. And they're knit. Like, so comfortable. They styled it cute with a little um, bodysuit. Oh, I really want to see these. Darn. That could be fun. Something different for sure. Especially if you find the right knit fabric. All right. Pull on skirt and belt bag. Now this is trendy. Um, yeah, learn to sew the trends. I'd say so. These little hip bags are like all the rage right now. I'm sure you've seen them online and other places. But in terms of the skirt pattern, it is very, very basic. Again, if you've got someone who's new to sewing, they would probably love making this. But for me, it's kind of like, eh. Cut scalloped edge fabric. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like it would be kind of cool to like go do one of these super basic patterns and like really, really focus on doing like a superb, excellent job and following all the rules exactly and ending up with like the most perfect basic skirt you can possibly make. Um, that's kind of inspiring. Okay, pull on shorts. 
So you guys will see soon, but I recently just made the deer and doe goji shorts, which are almost exactly like these, except the gojis are a little bit wider, actually a lot bit wider and drapier. So this is just more of a fitted short. Wow, they really went there with the camo and the tassel. Um, side seam, oh, inseam pocket, huh? Buttonholes, tassels, top stitching, and elastic casings. Let's look through the photo shoot photos. Yeah, paper bag waist. Yeah, these are fairly generous in the thigh. What do y'all think about all these tassels on the sides? I could see like, I mean, what is she, 14? I could see like a teenager really being into this one. All right, here's some skirts. This looks very um, grown up. I do like that floral. Gertrude made. Let's see the, all right. Oh, cute kick plate details. So I don't have a need to wear a pencil skirt anywhere, nothing this fancy, but that is stinking adorable. All of these are with the button tabs. So cute. So cute. Love this kick pleat. Um, but if I did, I would like this one a lot. A lot of really cute details here. Simple, cute details. There's that button again. Isn't that cute? I love that. I love that. They have a lot of patterns. Okay. Women's wide leg pants and shirt with length variations. So wide leg pants with an elastic casing. Shorts with out an elastic casing hard to see oh so interesting that's the shirt is it supposed to be pulled around to the front so much though I don't know about that and then just an all over short one I want to see this how do I want to see this <laughs> that's how it is but I feel like it got tied a little too tight um, if this were more here, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see the line drawings. If that, oh, yeah, the shorts are elasticated. And then see, I guess they're just showing us that, I don't know what they're showing us. These are the ties, obviously, but isn't that obvious? Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see some other modeled photos. I don't know. What do you guys think of this one? I don't like it with the wide leg pant. I want a skinny jean. Because from the back, it's like, whoa. That could be cool. I just think it's it's styled and fitting her funny. Okay. Vintage skirt, shorts, and tie top. 1940s vintage redone crop top and cool oh well these shorts are cute wow with all those pleats and I do like the cummerbund skirt yeah let's see some more pictures I don't care for the crop top, obviously, because I'm not 16. Yeah, you guys, what do we think of the, the pleated skirt shorts? I, I don't know. It could go, I don't know. I feel like in general, it would be really cute on most people. Oh, the 40s. Oh, I really wanted to see that skirt with the cummerbund waist. I wish they made more views. This one could be really cute, even if you're not a vintage girl. The bottoms here are good. Good bottoms. 
All right. Um, here's another Mimi G. Looks like we've got high-waisted pants and a tie top. Oh, no waistband. French seamed. Wide leg or skinny. Those are some good options, girl. Good options. Lots of ways to fit these um, with all these seaming details. You have the side seams and these princess seams all around. Great little booty shaping. <laughs> and a cute little kimono. Kimono type tie top. Is she wearing that without anything underneath it though? Oh, okay. But yeah, see this? Very nice for us curvy girls. Nice long ties. Wait, there are no side seams. Or are there? Oh, Lord have mercy. I can't tell. Let's zoom in on this one. Oh, yeah, there are. I mean, this could be a little bit straighter. Actually, a lot straighter. But these are good. These are, I love those. Love. Cool. I think so far the Mimi G's are my favorite. Here is a knit skirt and top. Oh, wow. Look at the pieces. So you've got the shirt, dolman sleeve, cut on the fold, two pieces. <laughs> and then the skirt is this. Interesting. Yeah, here they are. Well, that could be an interesting study in like fabric form and drape and all of that. That's kind of cool. I mean, it can't take much fabric, right? The skirt is one and a half yards. And the top is one and three eighths yards. That's not a lot at all. I got to say, I can kind of either take it or leave it with the top, but the skirt is kind of cool. I do like that. I think that that is really neat. Where is that one? Yeah, the line drawing where it, this part falls and creates this detail here. I think it would look like it was a lot harder to make than it actually is. All right, moving right along. Are we getting close to the end? I think so. Okay. Oh, this is one of their pattern hacking patterns, which have been, I don't know, a little hit or miss for me in the past because the pattern hacks, like, I mean, obviously, like, you can shorten things, right? Like, that's, I mean, it is a pattern hack, but, like, not really. <laughs> I almost don't count it as a pattern hack. Same thing with shortening the sleeves. Like, that's not really that, like, inventive or thoughtful. Cutting up the center, however, is more so than anything I've seen. Um, let's see. So the basic pattern is this <laughs> Mumu dress. Um, I guess that's the front and that's the back. Yeah. And then you can shorten it to all these different lengths or cut it up the front and make it a kimono. See what I mean though? It's just a little bit like obvious. But maybe some people's brains don't work that way and they need to see these visualizations to be able to see it. Maybe I'm taking myself for granted. Um, here's another top. But with another hacking one. Okay, let's see how they did on this one. See? Okay, see? Now this one, they added a flounce. They added, they shortened the sleeve, added a ruffle, and did an uh, open back concept, and then ruffles and um, along the hem. So this, all this right here, that's actually really cool and interesting and kind of challenging. Um to sort out on your own without the help of a pattern. So this is actually adorable. I love this one. I would wear that for sure. So would I, this, so would this one. 
All of these, actually. I like all of these. That's cool. One pattern and four looks. Cute. Is it... I guess she's wearing like a lightweight woven. Yeah. The length is a little long, but yeah. Cute. All right. On to page two. What? <laughs> Get it, dude. You are too cool. Let's take a closer look at him just for fun. Wow. He is living his best Kendall life with his knuckles cut off. Okay. That was fun. Um, let's see. Kids stuff. Doll stuff, kids stuff, accessories, kids accessories, vintage, cosplay. All right, so there you have it. We are at the end of the simplicity patterns and we're going into new look. I will do a first impression video of all of these next week. But I'm going to stop here because this has already gotten to be a very long video. But um, let me know. What do you guys think of the new Simplicity patterns? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Which ones are your favorites? Which ones are you going to buy? Or have you already purchased some since they've been out for a couple of weeks now? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And until next time, I will see you very soon. Bye!